Miss Elite. So if you don't see a particular video up, it's because Samantha got in her feelings. Samantha Cooker, who wanted all other black women to feel just like her. Now here's the thing, okay? My dad's mother, my grandmother, okay? She is a much older woman, obviously. And she's much darker in skin tone than Samantha Cooker's, okay? And very, very beautiful. Very. She always kept up with her appearance. Um, she never wore a strange type of wig. Well, she was always into natural things with her hair anyway, but if she was to wear something fake, it would not look like... I'm, ju I'm just saying, like, if you're going to wear... Um, a cheap, strange wig, you need to own it, slay it, and don't blame you being black for, you know, I'm, I'm just saying. So Samantha Cooker obviously did not like my live stream. I went ahead and saved a copy, just in case. So I'm gonna go ahead and make a Rumble account maybe in a few days and upload it over there, or maybe a TikTok account, I don't know, I don't know. Because everything I said was facts, okay? Pearly Things is a white woman. She is very, very average. But when she put on that makeup, I'm not going to lie, she slays. She works with what she got. And that's the problem with Samantha Cooker. And that everything I said about Samantha Cooker was facts. Yes, her lower face is very exaggerated when she holds the camera in a certain way. And I'm sorry, it, it is what it is. So she needs to not put the camera like that ever again. Number two, she needs to work with what she has and play up on it. And that can be her best feature. And because they feel some type of way and they don't want to work on improving themselves and working with what God gave them, they want to act like, well, all black women can't grow their hair. And if you can grow your hair, oh, you're just a rare one. So she can shut down the millions of black women with hair. Black DNA is not ugly. It's not. No race of DNA out there is ugly. If you don't look, you know, how you feel you should have looked, just play up on your natural features and move on. But yeah, that wig, I think, is a curse. The wig she has that she insists on wearing an all multiple of her TikTok videos on purpose is a curse. It looks bland. It looks, it's, it's just not her for her. She needs to wear her natural curly hair or get a wig that's kind of like not that. Okay, if you want a certain straightish wig, put that thing in the fire pit and let it go, Samantha. Because everything I said was facts on facts on facts. And make sure you have the camera in a way that is good for you. Do not put it ever again lower like that. But I'm going to go ahead and take the copy of the live stream and put it on a Rumble account. Not today, likely. Maybe tomorrow. Maybe next week. I have it saved. And I'll leave the link for those. I don't care if it's just one view over there, but I want that live stream to exist. I almost had 100 likes because everyone agreed. I'm sorry. Like, if you don't like yourself, do not do not put on the black race. That's a you thing. That's a you thing. If your hair is not growing, learn about your hair. Learn about your hair type so it can grow. What works for someone else may not work for you. You could also have the same hair type-ish, but it's not going to work for you. You have to do research. You have to see what works and stick with it. You can't be lazy and then hop on TikTok with that strange wig, that cursed wig, talking about, look, see, see, this is just, this, this, I mean, lady, Samantha, there are black women your age and older who are gorgeous. They, they know what they're doing with their appearance. I'm not trying to be mean, but. Now, if you were like a teenager talking kind of crazy like this, okay. Like teen girls, it don't matter the race of them. Some of them have like insecurities and things like that. 
But um, at your age, at some point, like you need therapy. Okay, you're, you're talking about the weight loss. That I guess that's great. But there are women who are plus size, attractive. They know how to play up on their looks. But God gave them and they carry on. You toss on that strange wig and start talking crazy about other black women saying, we, no, there's no we, lady. That's a you problem, not a we problem. Now, I don't hate you or anything, but I just get so tired personally of older black women, older as in 25 years old and older, making videos. Oh, I don't look good. Oh, us black when we no no y'all look y'all need to have your own personal club off social media. Maybe have a pen pal situation. Y'all can write each other. Hey, we're ugly. We're ugly because that's just very like an agenda. It's an agenda, and it's very questionable. And then even on your own channel, I seen comments. People like, um, can you address what you said on TikTok? Why do you act like you don't know what people are talking about? And look, your email is right here in this email I got that you want that live stream taken down. So that is you from TikTok, Samantha. And it's okay. Women have like a day like, oh my gosh, I don't feel my best. But permanently every day, okay, if you don't feel your best like most of the time or you just, I don't know how else to say it. Maybe it's a you problem. You need to work on playing up your features. Like I told you, Samantha, I told you, you heard my live stream. I said, I do have a big forehead and I showed a picture. I have a big forehead. So I make sure I get styles that kind of, you know, blend that forehead in good. Yeah. Rihanna has a big forehead and it's working out for her. Like you, certain hairstyles just do well with people with bigger foreheads. I'll go ahead and make a rumble account. Um, and then also I'll make another account, a different website, and then I'll share the link. And Samantha, you can be a follower. You can be my only follower there over there on, um, rumble if you want to, it, it's okay. But I just get so tired of like, if you, okay, it's one thing to make one video and say, Hey, you know, I'm, you know, you, the, the, the ugly word, right? Because I don't feel that way at all. You can do that. But um, multiple videos about it. And then you take your videos down off TikTok because people are like, ladies, sit down. And now you have to request to join your TikTok. Really? Um, but yeah, whatever insecurities you have, like, just keep it to yourself and get a therapist. That was uncalled for. It's one thing to say, hey, how you feel about yourself, but don't put that on other black women, innocent black women. Don't label us how you feel. And there are black women who are happy with having just short hair. There are black women with long hair. There are black women with lots of volume. They're all happy and fine as they are. But you are out of control, lady. You were so out of control, okay? But don't worry, I'll put the copy somewhere else, okay? And I'll share the link in the future, so. I don't know, maybe I need to do a part two. I don't know, I'll think about it. But yeah, you, you need help. You need some serious help. She slips up. This is her. This is her. She is the black Shay. No one has that dialect, that voice. That is her. And she's defending the black shade when the black shade put down black women. What person is defending what that? Look, she's trying to act like Beyonce. Beyonce has an alter ego, which is Sasha Fierce. And that's what Samantha's doing. Hold up. Until I say something, you don't uh, Oops. Until the black shade. Oops, she slipped up. Until she says it, she slipped up. That is her. So after giving me a, a, a strike because she didn't like my live stream, um, she went ahead and, um, you know, went live here. This is her. This is her.